So here's the kick. And we're underway here at Bishop Stadium. And Auckland's going to take it. Goes sideline to sideline and breaks one tackle and is finally brought down out of bounds around the 27-yard line there. Good start by Auckland there. Usually don't like to kick it on to the outside during those kickoffs there, but his speed allows him to be able to kick out to the outside and gain a lot of yards. Yeah, what are we looking at, um, to expect from this MHS offense early on to start this drive? I mean, we saw the last two weeks they started off their first drives with 80-plus uh, yard touchdowns. So what do you expect, Eli, expect, coming out of this? Expect some power run here. Also, if they're going to pass, expect short passing game. Expect screens. Expect their wide receivers to get out and block here because they love to do that in the first drives. Sharks in the pistol, no backs around him. Sends a man in motion. It's Braxton Fry. He fakes it. He'll take it up the middle. And he will be brought down after a gain about five or six there, just inside the 30, around the 32 yard line. I expect him to keep passing because as much as Manhattan Devens has been really good, they haven't really been tested in the past as much as you would think. A lot of teams they've played are very run oriented. So I expect him to keep passing the ball and see if they can keep up. Yeah, Manhattan High, we saw at the very beginning of the season face the toughest rushing team with Dylan Brooks and the Derby and Derby Panthers on the road. They ended up stopping them. So not many run teams, uh, teams that are run heavy, can do much against this Indians defense. Rayville Leak in the backfield. Deontay Mitchell is going to take a keeper, try to bounce it outside, and he might be. Nah, nah, he barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe loses a couple yards there, and the Indians' edge defense playing extraordinary tonight. Yeah, it's those linebackers. They have great closing speed there. These linebackers have great closing speed, which allows them to get to the outside on that quarter. So we got some score updates here on this timeout by the Indians. Uh, Lawrence High School and Derby High School. Derby's leading 27-8 at home as they got a uh, better seed. They bounced back after a couple of losses here to Mays and to Manhattan at home to open the season. They've been doing great. Uh, Wichita Northwest and Junction City all knotted up at 14 as Junction has the home field advantage. But whoever wins that game will play the winner of e Wichita East and Manhattan High here at Bishop Stadium. So we'll keep an eye on that one for y'all. Washburn Rule holding their own against Garden City. That's a tough matchup as Garden City was the two seed overall. Washburn Rule also a, a tough uh, team to play against as they only lost to Manhattan here on the road by three. They're up six to zero right now. Olathe North, Blue Valley West, uh, yet to score um, so far in that game. So we'll keep you updated on those scores all around the league, but that's 6A state playoffs so far. Um, yeah, so now the Indians come back out after the timeout. Looks like Jason Sanchez, number 34, and DeAndre Auckland, number 11, gonna go uh, double backs in the backfield as Sharks lines up in the pistol. No jumbo package, just a simple run that they've been doing. Here's Sharts. Calls for the snap. He'll give it to Auckland. And Auckland cannot get there. And he has stopped. What defense right there by Wichita East Blue Aces. Interested to see what they do here. This Manhattan defensive front, very strong. Maybe they do another screenplay. Marcus White in the motion. And he fumbled the snap and the handoff both. And that was a sloppy play. Pushes it back to the 14 yard line. Now it's gonna be third and goal. You have to get in the end zone. That's a loss at 13, not yeah, exactly what you wanted. That's a really tough break right there for Wichita which, which East. I'm gonna set up a third and long here. Now their passing game has been really good so far here in the second half. So I expect them to still be able to set up a fourth and short here. And they'll probably go for it. I mean, there's 7.52 to play. Still a lot of time, but you definitely want a touchdown if you're East to make it a one-score ball game. Big play right here for the MHS defense. Deontay Mitchell will throw wide open, and it's caught by LT Robinson for a Blue Aces touchdown. And Deontay Mitchell leads his team down in under five minutes to score an opening, a second-half opening touchdown. What a pass right there. Yeah, a little confusing defensive alignment there by Manhattan. It looked like the safety was supposed to be man-to-man -man there, but he didn't really set up, step up, which allowed the receiver to cut, right, run a post right into the middle of the end zone there, wide open for a touchdown. And that was just such a great route. I mean, LT Robinson broke through straight up the middle. And now there's the kick, and it was blocked. And man, the special teams tonight for this Wichita East team have been struggling, and now they're down eight. 